What's up, it's Nicky Bra. Today I'm going to show you a new format that I'm going to launch. In this format we're going to basically bust all the supplements and bust all the bad foods and groceries in the supermarket. So we are going to basically um, look at several products, maybe even some products that you are going to send to me and I will check them out in real time and will judge whether it's a good or a bad product, where the tricks um, where's the scam, where's the cheating, and so on and so on. So we will focus on supplements, we will focus on medicine, we will focus on, um, well, the groceries just in the supermarket because, well, it's a huge industry, the food industry, the, su uh, the supplement industry. So uh, obviously there is uh, lots of trickery, lots of cheating going on, lots, lots of scams. And, uh, well, why, why do I do this? Well, because um, I have two degrees, one in biochemistry, one in civil engineering. And, uh, well, I could care less about this uh, because, well, I have uh, many successful clients. But, um, well, uh, nowadays uh, there are lots of online coaches, there are lots of personal trainers and so on and so on. They get their certificates over the weekend and they think they are the big, big experts and so on. Well, and uh, in this video series, I'm going to share real expertise, real um, knowledge uh, about uh, biochemistry, nutrition um, and uh, well, uh, in, in when you check out this video series, you will see the level and uh, you will see the vast amount of knowledge basically um, applied to uh, basically to help you and uh, other guys. Because, like I said, uh, um, don't fall into this trickery. There's lots of uh, money made in this industry at, at, at the cost of your health, basically. And uh, yeah... Even nowadays, uh, I saw, you know, I do these uh, Q&As on Instagram and just recently, like, uh, a client uh, showed me, like, a picture. Um, oh, uh, Nikki Bra, look at this uh, protein powder. And I'm looking at this protein powder, like, on the back side. And I'm like, wait a second. Um, I know this uh, text where it's coming from. And there is a supplement company literally like took an answer from my Q&A on Instagram and copy pasted it, like not even change, just like copy pasted it uh, onto the packaging of the, of, the, um, of the protein powder. So they did not even change anything, they just copy pasted it. And I was like, what the hell is going on, you know, because nowadays uh, we, you know, we have to be honest. In, in also in the fitness industry, lots, lots of scams going on and uh, especially... Uh, when it comes to coaches, in my opinion, 99% of coaches out there have no idea what they're talking about. And, um, well, uh, and I'm aware that lots of these coaches follow me and try to copy my knowledge and to copy my, um, my content, which is uh, not a big deal for me, to be honest, because... Well, uh, it's not like I invented the, v the, the wheel, you know, but uh, there is a big difference because um, every of my clients knows, even my professor, every of my clients knows where my knowledge is coming from. So I always like give respect to the people, to my teachers where I learned from. Well, and it's, it's a small difference between just copy pasting what someone else said, like on a systematic basis and uh, not giving him any respect or recognition. So in my opinion, this is, um, well, uh, uh, now something uh, that uh, we are going to uh, solve because in this video series, I'm going to show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. And um, as you can see on the screen, we are going to do everything in real time and uh, no preparation, just spontaneous. And I'm going to show you how I worked in biochemistry because I worked, I had a company, Brainabolics, we worked in um, supplement industry, we worked in, um, let's say like this uh, substance industry. So we helped companies to optimize their products. We helped companies to market their products. We helped to adjust the ingredients. Uh, so basically I was on the dark side. Basically I was the one doing the trickery for these companies um, because it's all about the margin. It's all about the profit right here uh, on the screen. You see an old Excel sheet uh, that uh, I use. This is the most simple one. Basically um, uh, we used uh, just to figure out, uh, figure out in the first glance, whether 
uh, it's profitable where the first weeks uh, we, we, we can make in the ingredients to make uh, the product uh, uh, to give it maximum profitability. So um, the job was basically to um, reduce the cost, increase the margin, increase the profit and increase the effectiveness of the substance and the supplement. So um, we worked in hormones, so we helped underground labs to... Um, to basically construct steroids, uh, st steroidal products, so products that bodybuilders and gym goers are going to use. Um, we uh, constructed uh, different supplements, so minerals, vitamins, and so on. Um, we also worked with a company uh, that makes uh, probiotics. Um, so many different spheres, uh, but uh, in, uh, in general, it's all the same. It's all about optimization and... Uh, well, making a very profitable construct. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just to show you today an example how much money they make. And we are going to do everything in real time. So you see how I used to work back in the day, uh, like in the early 2010s, basically, Brainabolics was flourishing. And um, yeah, you will see how deep the knowledge has to be to um to actually uh make it work because this is not your um fitness personal trainer uh that got his certificate over the weekend at some uh idiotic seminar where he just uh, copy paste answers and gets gets a paper certificate and says oh I'm level 3 personal trainer this is like um the top of the top this is like uh, mountain top basically uh well, and uh, I, I was at the best possible university for this with the best possible professor. Um, all my clients know him because, like I said, I give respect to these people who where I learned from because uh, I never invented the wheel, but uh, um, it's necessary to give respect to the people that taught you. And obviously, after that, uh, over 10,000 clients, many successful uh, athletes, many, many transformations, um, and uh, this is where it's all coming from. So in this video series, this is the warm up here, um, uh, where you will, uh, uh, where I'll, I will motivate you to subscribe and motivate to follow along because uh, no one is able to do it out there. Because this you cannot learn um, on a two day course. Basically, this uh, you can only learn and uh, put it into practice uh, when you have done this at a very very high level. Uh, in my opinion, highest level possible. Um, so, today we are going to look at, um, uh, may, many of you requested, and in my opinion, this is also like an excellent example um, of a substance where you can see how much money they make at uh, cost of uh, people's uh, health. And we are going to talk about and calculate through um uh, the, the the contraceptive pills for women so estrogen pills so women take um estrogen pills as a contraceptive so they can uh, go and have sex uh, without uh, getting babies and so on but obviously it's a very very potent substance which basically castrates the women temporarily and uh, throws hormones off balance heavily so we are not going to talk about the effects uh, of uh, estrogen and how bad it is because it's obviously very bad. I had many, many female clients that came to me because uh, they were on the contraceptive pill for, let's say, 10 years and uh, now uh, they, they want to get, get, get off from it to, to get pregnant, but then uh, they go to the doctor and the doctor says, well, uh, it's not possible for you to get kids anymore and so on. Saw it many times. So uh, not only this happens, we will not dive deeply what, what happens in the background hormonally. Today we are going to see the numbers, how much they make, you know, at the cost of uh, the women's health. Because uh, it's also like a social problem all this. Because um, in my opinion, a contraceptive pill, for example, in Russia... Uh, you can get the contraceptive pill only when you're 18 years old. But let's say in Europe, it's already possible to get the pill uh, when uh, the girl is 13 years old. Because argumentation of uh, the doctors is like, um, 
Well, uh, they tell the parents, well, imagine your girl gets pregnant and, you know, life is over. She has to study. She has to go to university. She has to get a job. She has to watch out for her career. No time to get pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Parents are convinced uh, very uh, fast, very quickly because they say, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, if my... Uh, uh, daughter gets uh, pregnant, you know, it's game over because uh, nowadays uh, they, they watch all these uh, rappers and YouTube videos where it's like lots of, uh, um, you know, uh, nu uh, nudity, where it's uh, lots of sex and so on going on and then the girls go party very young. So obviously parents are concerned and uh, uh, easily convinced uh, that uh, they will agree uh, that uh, the doctor takes the contraceptive pill, and the doc, uh, and and the daughter obviously agrees because, um, well, uh, she does not care. Let, let's be honest here; she does not care too much about whether she gets pregnant or not. Um, uh, most likely, it's just uh, you know, imagine like uh, seventh grade and uh, it's puberty, and uh, all your female friends take the pill and. Uh, breast and the boobies you know they grow and you're like come on boobies grow and uh, then you ask your best friend well uh, do, you, do you take it and the best friend yes I, I took the pill and my boobies grew so they're also like uh, very easily convinced to take the pill because not not the parent not uh, the girl knows the uh, predicaments, uh, she does not know the side effects and the implications of taking these uh, potent hormones. So, um, yeah, it's like uh, also a social problem that the girls think, okay, uh, boobies, it's time to grow, we just take some some pill, you know, just like a small snack every single uh, evening, and then uh, boobies start to grow fast and everyone is content, you know. She cannot get, uh, she cannot get pregnant, uh, the parents are like, yay, uh, we are safe, uh, you know, our daughter can uh, study and, uh, you know, get a career or whatever and the daughter is like okay uh, my boobies will grow and all the boys uh, will want to um, you know talk to me or whatever um, so yeah and the doctor obviously yes uh, you will see today why the doctor is convincing uh, all the parents uh, yeah take the pill take the pill take the pill today we are going to calculate why they pressure uh, let's say pressure um the girls and the parents to take it, and it just it's just one substance. It's just estrogen pill. There are many more um, that uh, we can take as an example. Let's say uh, thyroid hormones, uh, antidepressants, um, statins. So there's so many substances out there that uh, uh, I just uh, you know the doctors give it away like tic tacs. You know, like here you go for this, here you go for this, here you go for this, and um, yeah. You will see the margins are extremely, extremely high and um, you will see how much money they make. So, um, yeah, obviously, the doctors in uh, all over the world, you know, they study for, let's say, they start to study at uh, 18, you know, then uh, university takes uh, six, seven, eight years. Then they need to do like warm up work at someone else's uh, cabinet or in the hospital, you know, as an assistant for, let's say, five years. Then they need to take another uh, supportive role somewhere just to get the final certificate where they can move freely. So it's like... Uh, to, to be a doctor, it's like uh, 15 years of studying and only then you start to make some cash. And obviously, they look left and right. Everyone is making cash and the doctor is like, okay, now it's my time. You know, I studied for f 15 fucking years. Now it's my time to, to, <laughs> to make some cash. And then they don't... Uh, think for too long whether they give away substances like this as uh, Tic Tacs. So yeah, uh, let's start out and um, we will see how it goes. Um, everything is in real time. Uh, so um, we are going to talk about estrogen. So let's let's just say let, let's uh, let's uh, just uh, check uh, uh, how much the raw material costs because this is the first parameter we need to understand. So we we just check in China as always because in China they sell everything. You can find everything under the sun, and there uh, you will. Um, see how much uh, everything costs per kilogram. So we check for um, estradiol first. This is the substance um, that uh, is used in these tablets. And we already can find um, uh, 
uh, several powders. Well, you know, this is just an example. This is just some uh, uh, calculation in real time here, but uh, the numbers, uh, you know, they should be pretty accurate, but like, don't don't hate me because like a dollar is off here and there, you know, this is just an example uh, at work back in the day, everything uh, we used to calculate very, very precisely. Um, we knew all numbers, so uh, this was uh, never a problem, but here we will just roughly estimate um, how much uh, everything costs. So let's uh, just check several um, estradiol powders. Here we have uh, from Wuhan. Um, so we see, we, we just take different ones and then um, uh, check what's what's the raw material price. So let's uh, let's see like minimum order that you have to order like 250 kilograms because obviously this um, uh, pharma companies, they do not uh, order like two kilograms or five kilograms, they order like metric tons so it's like lots of kilogram that they order to keep the margin high and the cost low basically so we are going to just use very generous numbers also uh, so you understand so here the production capacity in china from this factory is eight tons per month so you can see like eight tons of estrogen only estrogen um estradiol is um is a lot, you know, is a lot. Shelf life, we have two years, pharma grade, so this is what, what we are looking for, uh, the, the high grade one. So yeah, this is um, white powder. Let's check the molecular formula, whether it's all correct here, and you see this is uh, estrogel, uh, estrogel valerate, so yes, this is exactly what is used, and we are going to check simultaneously, like we are going to maybe, probably, I have to blur it out, you know, the companies, but uh, everything is the same, we are going to take the pill that... Uh, most of the German women uh, take, uh, so let's take this one, probably have to blur it out here at this point, but it's three letters and it starts with an Y, it, it ends with a Z, so every woman probably had this pill, you know, this is the most common pill I'd say in Germany, um, it has, uh, so it has 28 it, okay, let's, let's note down first, it has 28 pills, so the pill, it has 28 tablets, it's 0 0.02 milligrams of estradiol, and it has, uh, what else, drospirinone, Dros Drospirinon. okay, how much, 3 milligrams drospirinone, drospirinone is a gestogen, it's used uh, in this pill basically to kill everything off, just to be super sure, so they uh, put drospirinone in because uh, it's even cheaper. So estradiol in general is pretty cheap. We can check just uh, drospirinone. That is pretty, pretty cheap. So it's like one kilogram costs like one dollar, you know. So it's, uh, we can even disregard it because it's that cheap, you know. So you have three milligrams here used in this... Uh, very common contraceptive pill, so let's note it down. So we have 28 tablets, one tablet each is 0 0.02 milligram estradiol, 3 milligrams drospirinone, but we can disregard the drospirinone because it's so cheap, basically. So we will just check the estradiol, basically. Like I said, they put the drospirinone in just to like kill and castrate everything, just to be like super sure, they say one, is not enough, so we put three milligrams of super cheap drospirinone in just to kill everything because it's that cheap, you know, they just flush it with drospirinone. Here you can already see like the motto of these guys, you know, it's like, okay, we put some very, very cheapo stuff in there just to make sure to kill it. We don't care about long-term hormonal balance. We don't fucking care. We just care that our product, uh, no, basically, does what it should do, um, and uh, we disregard the long-term side effects. So drospirinone, very potent, very cheap, and 
you know, compared 0 0.02 milligrams compared to 3 milligrams, you know, you can already see that estradiol is a little bit uh, more expensive, you know, 300 bucks per kilogram and drospirinone is like one kilogram per, uh, I mean, uh, one buck per kilogram. So it's like, like sugar or whatever. W what do they uh, offer as a recommendation? <laughs> Let's see. You might also like, what do I like? Factory direct cells estrogen powder for anti hair loss minoxidil. So yeah, like you see, it's pretty interesting to see, um, you know, how it looks like, you know, this is how it's uh, transported. And yeah. So here we have uh, 400 per kilogram. So I think, uh, th but this is a smaller, you know, just 500 kilogram per week. So a smaller factory. But yeah, um, what do they what do they say? Activate libido within 15 to 30 minutes, you know, prolong the time of sexual intercourse. Tadanafil enhances sexual stamina, blah, blah, blah. Estradiol is used in female reproduction. It acts as a growth for tissue of uh, the reproduction organs. Estradiol also have a profound effect on bones. Well, more or less true, more or less not true. So they offer Tadanafil. This is like, uh, you know, like Viagra. It's often that these uh, descriptions and so on and so on in... Uh, um, they, they try to... Um, translate it but it's not very accurate for example estradiol is sometimes used as a part of cancer treatment which is just partially true because um, when uh, someone goes through cancer treatment uh, obviously sexual hormones drop and it's uh, not like they they take the estradiol uh, to uh, kill the cancer they take it to compensate for the loss of sexual hormones because sexual hormones are pretty important for overall health so you compensate there then uh, by um well replacing it basically so yeah like this information is not very uh, accurate it's not very scientifically true so you can all disregard this basically so let's continue with our calculation so what do we have we have a pill um the contraceptive pill we have 28 tablets 0 0.02 milligram estradiol this we can disregard so basically, what do we have in one package is, oh yeah, what's the price for it actually? I know that it costs roughly 20 euro. Okay, here we have 20, 24 euros. So we can, oh, let's take 20 just, just for, um, to, to simplify it, not to use like crooked numbers. So basically 20 euro, one pack, 28 tabs, 0 0.02 milligrams of estradiol, the substance. So basically in 28 um, times 002, we have, uh, it's 560 micrograms or 0 0.56 milligrams. So you see that one pack is not even one milligram. So, and we know that one kilo of this costs this is like math class today. <laughs> One kilo costs 300 euros. So you can already see like, what the hell? Like um, uh, in one kilo, you have 300 euro, but um, in one package that costs 20, um, you only have 0 0.56 milligrams. So, you know, you can already imagine how much, uh, how much money they make. How much does the packaging cost? How much does the logistics cost? And so on. In this case, we can also disregard because uh, in these um, huge volumes that they sell, um, it's possible to disregard all the production costs because it's maybe 1% of, of, of the margin. Okay, we can disregard this as well. So, and to, to understand how much they make, basically... Um, we need to understand, okay, in Germany, 82 million people, how many women, mm, let's say half, how many women, let's say 40 million women, to simplify numbers, um, how many women, let's say from 14 to 25, roughly, this is what we need, okay, let's check, okay, this is roughly 20% of all women, so let's say 40 million women, so let's say 20% of 40 million. This is what we need. So 8 million 
potential clients. I mean, probably more than 8 million potential clients, but like I said, we will use generous numbers just to understand how much they make. And if I had to assume, um, I think maybe 30%, maybe even more, 30 to 40% at some point took the pill. Even, I, I to be honest, probably 50, 50%. We will use very general, generous numbers. We will use 10%. And I'm sure it's way more than 10%. So let's say... 800,000 active clients. So these numbers are extremely generous uh, here at the, uh, in, in these calculations, extremely generous. So let's calculate how much money they basically make. One kilogram, kilogram divided by 0.02, what was it? Milligrams. What is it? Is it like 50 million or what? Yeah, 50 million. So we have in one kilo, you can make 50 million tablets just from one kilogram. Okay, so you can already see how crazy these numbers are just from one kilogram. And this one kilogram is 300 euro. I mean, okay, machines and so on, workers have to be paid, blah, blah, blah. But with these margins, like I said in the previous video, we used to call this cocaine numbers. You can really disregard marketing. You can disregard um, uh, packaging. You can disregard logistics. The only thing you have to watch out for is that you as a farmer company that you're on the safe side and you never lose reputation, that all these scams never come out basically this is most important because they they need this they need the potential clients and need the active clients so what do we have 300 euro one kilograms 50 50 million tablets so how much is it 50 million how many packs do we have so 50 million divided by 28 is 1.5 million or 1.8 million packs so as you can see, just with one kilogram investment, you can basically cover all uh, active clients in theory, obviously. Basically, you don't need to calculate on because it's just pure money at this point. Because you invest 300 euro if you have the resources, the factories, if you have the certification, blah, blah, blah. It's just 300 euro, you can already... From this substance, if it's clean, if it's certificated, you can already cover all active clients. So it's like 300 euro for all of Germany, basically. So you see how crazy these margins are. So basically, it's not even about investment at this point. It's just about who gets the certification to spread it, who gets the... Uh, who is le legalized to to uh, distribute it via the doctors. So as you can see in this small calculation, you cannot uh, uh, even understand how astronomic these numbers are. So basically 0 0.02 milligrams of estradiol per tablet, uh, you have 0 0.56 milligrams uh, per package, and one kilo of raw material of just pure estradiol um, costs 300 euro when you get it from China. One package costs 20 euro. So these numbers are just insane, insane. And um, yeah, I believe in Germany we have 800,000 active clients for, for these uh, contraceptive pills. And this is just crazy numbers, crazy numbers. But this is not the only example i can give to you there are many more statins thyroid hormones as you can see the tosprinone is even way way cheaper than the estradiol that we can even disregard it um what's important for these companies is obviously their reputation it's important to have the certification to be allowed to distribute this so this is like a huge monopoly you cannot 
um, obviously, okay, you need the factory, you need the machines and so on. You need to invest some money. But in general, it's like a huge monopoly. If you want to make these pills, it's impossible. Because even if you have the machines, even if you have the workers, even if you have the factory, you cannot because you have not, you don't have the certification to do this. You are not in this monopoly. So this is how much money they make. This is basically unlimited money. We don't need to calculate on here. This is just unlimited. You know, most important is to get the clients here and the clients they will get because the doctors play with it. The doctors just hand it, uh, hand it out and, uh, well, uh, that's basically it. Hand it out because they want to make some cash as well. They get big, big provision because even if they say, okay, 20 euro per pack, we sell it or we give it to, to the girls. Um, even if 10 bucks goes to the doctor, um, then um, basically uh, we still make lots of money if we give 50% away to the doctor. And the crazy thing about this contraceptive pill is that this is monthly. This is not like a one-time thing. It's like you have, the, you have 28 days and this is just for one month, right? After this month, the girl needs to get another 28 and so on. So this is reoccurring, reoccurring stuff. So this is like per month. So here you see how crazy um, it is, how much money they actually make from this. Obviously at the cost of, um, yeah, of, of the girl's health because this is just too crazy. I mean, I saw everything. I saw girls started out uh, taking the pill at 13 um at 14 15 they took it all the way through until uh, 19 20 25 29 and it resulted in big big hormonal problems um big big mood swings bad skin low libido and even in some cases infertility so they were not able to make some babies um well they contacted me for help basically so um, to increase the fertility again because these things are super potent and uh, like I said they also the, here you can see the motto they just use three milligrams of drospirinone just to kill everything off they say okay fuck it 0 0.02 milligram estradiol this is clear but and but estradiol is more expensive you know but we just add the drospirinone just to kill everything off just to be sure this is the motto because for them not the health is important but this right here is important so guys i hope you like this small life calculation brain abolic style back in the day we used to work like this um we got let's say um a company that said okay we want to bring a multivitamin on the market so we would check the ingredients that uh, are going to be used. Uh, we calculated the percentages, the cost per unit, and then we would see, okay, where do we tweak? What do we have to leave out? What do we have to put in to make it more effective, um, more cost efficient to increase the margin, to increase um, the uh, profit, basically, and to reduce the cost. So this was bread and butter back in the day. Um, yeah. It was a huge, huge market uh, back in the day, flourishing because uh, 2010s, uh, it was like supplement markets started to boom a lot. Um, in general, like uh, in the supermarkets, you uh, were able to find the protein puddings and so on. Uh, out of nowhere, they started to, to appear, you know, all these protein bars and um, ordinary supermarkets. So these were the flourishing years of brainabolics. And then basically I sold to the company just to focus on coaching because this for me, uh, these Excel sheets uh, in this regard, it's not that much fun for me. It was just uh, my profession. But, uh, you know, I would like to work with real people. And if you are interested to work with me, this was my bread and butter. But now I focus on my client's transformation. This is my knowledge. That's why they call me God of Hormones. Um, I did not get my certificate over the weekend. I studied at two elite universities with the best, best, best professor of all times, in my opinion. He's like the Michael Jordan of biochemistry. He found out so many things. Um, he is a real, real legend in Russia. Now he's over 90 years old, I believe. He's now, uh, what is it? 
he's 91 today, 91, and um, yeah, it were crazy days, I learned so much from him, and I put the knowledge into practice here in Brainabolics, but then I said, okay, numbers are numbers, but I want to make some champions, I want to change people's lives, I want to have an impact, because this is the dark side, I used to optimize for the companies, and uh, then I said, okay, fuck it, let's just use uh, my knowledge properly. So, yes, like I said, many people try to copy paste my knowledge, um, but uh, they cannot dig that deep because uh, I put this into practice for these companies, and uh, then I got over ten thousand clients. So I always aim for maximum, maximum use of my knowledge, and uh, this is what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I would like to have some feedback from you whether you like these. Uh, life calculations and uh, this is just warm up this is not exactly how it's going to be we're going to criticize and check out different supplements and uh, different uh, products from your supermarket um, i will check them out on the internet and in real time i will judge it and tell you okay is it a good product why is it a good product? Is it a bad product? Why is it a bad product? You will be able to send the products to me and in real time I will discuss it for you. So you see, okay, is it a good product? Is it a bad product? Where is the trickery going on? How much money they make? How much do the raw material costs? And so on and so on. So it's going to be more visual, more sophisticated. Today we just had this uh, Excel. I wanted to show you how I used to work back in the day. So... Um, like I said, I would appreciate um, feedback, how you liked it, because this is just a warm-up for the series. And um, yeah, like I said, you can check out some of my old videos if you're interested in the topic, in nutrition and hormones and biochemistry. Um, if you're interested in making a great, great transformation, like I said, you can message me at all times just on Instagram at Nikibra or you just visit my page nikibra.com. You leave me a message, we get in touch and I will bring you to, to your goal, whether it's fat loss, whether it's hormonal recomposition, whether it's muscle gain, whether uh, you want to be a professional athlete, whether you're just a casual Joe and you want, just want to improve your energy levels. I saw it all, you just message me, I will get back to you within 12 hours. I hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one, then it's going to be more visual, we will go through supplement stores, we will go through Amazon and look at the ingredients and I will tell you what's good, what's, what's bad and uh, like I said, please give me some feedback how you like this format. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Идущим вдаль с тяжелым рюкзаком И никогда о камне и о скалы Не бьемся мы, не лбом, не молотком Все выше и выше и выше К вершинам науки идем И если с пути не собьемся, собьемся То значит получим диплом Мы не читаем геологам и женам Юристов мы презрением клеми, И по халатам рваным и прожжённым Мы химиков повсюду отличим. Все выше и выше и выше Летит рыжий бром к небесам, И кто этим бромом подышит,